It's really about executive functioning so that the the bigger thing is it's about regulating the ability to focus. I really think the differences in attention are around the regulation of attention and the executive functioning. Yeah, please, if you could kind of go into that a bit more and just see kind of where it goes. Yeah. Yeah. So executive functioning, teachers will talk about executive skills, right? So skills are something you can learn. Functions are things that just happen. And we certainly can teach and improve executive functioning. So, uh, but these are the highest level thinking skills that we use as human beings to achieve our complex goals or regulate ourselves. So these are things like planning, organizing prioritizing, time management, dealing with frustration, managing emotions, and also regulating our attention. In our brains, it's in the prefrontal cortex. It's the front part of the brain just behind the forehead. And that part of our brain grows and develops from the time we're born until we're almost 30 years old. And there's research out of the US from the National Institutes of Mental Health, where they did brain scans of kids and teens growing up with ADHD. Over time, like scan them every one or two years, I forget something like 250 kids. And they also scanned kids growing up without ADHD and compared brain growth and development. And they found that the prefrontal cortexes of kids with ADHD grow and develop a little more slowly, on average two, three years behind kids who don't have ADHD. And that would account for some of the executive functioning challenges of kids. Now, even though the prefrontal cortex growth catches up, many of us with ADHD or all of us, depending on your definitions, have executive functioning challenges. And when I'm talking to people in a clinical assessment and I'm asking, how does this affect your life? How are you doing with work? You know, if I'm talking to an adult, how are you doing with the morning routine, getting the kids out the door if you have kids? How are you doing with your workday? How are you doing with the evening? How are you doing with paying your bills? You know, planning your meals. How are you doing with managing money, driving? This is all self-regulation. So they think I'm just checking how it impacts them, but I'm also thinking about their executive functioning. Can they set goals? Can they stick with them? Can they manage the time, the obstacles, the frustration and keep going, right? So even though there are many different definitions of executive functioning, I think it all boils down to, can you execute on the tasks that are meaningful and important to you and your roles in life? And if you can, you don't really have executive functioning challenges. And just about every single person who comes for assessment of ADHD, it's because they're having trouble executing and completing the tasks that are important for them at their stage of life. Right. And that's where the impairment, as you said, to the daily functioning becomes an issue. Absolutely. 